Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be a long range outlook. And this video is about how, uh, well, you know, what to expect in a long range. There's going to be several things to point out. Nothing remarkable really though. I wouldn't say anything's alarming. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of cooler weather possibly after this week of uh, warmer temperatures. But... It really does not look predominantly too uh, aggressive, really, uh, the, the coldness. Nothing compared to what we've been seeing, but it's still noteworthy. But at this point, uh, the warmth is in our way, so we'll uh, that's what we'll be talking about the most. And uh, if you want... If you want to, you know, uh, support this channel, you can do so by subscribing, uh, by hitting the like button uh, after you watch this video and decided whether it's uh, whether it's likable. And uh, yeah, that's the best way to support my channel. So can, please do consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps out a lot. Um, you really consider it. So uh, right now we're looking at the. Uh, I want to look at one of these models, CFS, which is basically a long range, fuck, uh, long range. Uh, I think it's climate forecasting system. That's what it stands for, and it uh, goes out to six weeks in advance. And this is temperatures, so the temperature anomaly, where basically, um, or not really the temperature anomaly. It's a 500 millibar bar of pressure, geopotential height anomaly and anomaly, and that basically shows us the troughs and the ridges and what's to expect, what's to come. If we want to go to a temperature anomaly, you could see we could go right there, and it shows us a better picture right here. So we could see right now very warm across the at least the eastern part of the country. Or, you know, very warm, at least compared to what we've been seeing. We've been seeing some very chilly conditions. Now we're going to be seeing some warm, finally, conditions. The west still remains a bit chillier. You can see the warmth uh, stays rather uh, confined to the north, but starts spreading a little bit more. The west, uh, the cold, cold, you know, the coldness in the west really um, slows down, and we could be looking at a... Uh, fuck, notice how there's a pretty big lobe of colder air I should say up in by Hudson Bay and then this um, will eventually kind of you know s work its way downwards and what I mean by that so look by this week it's still warm this is from the 7th of J July to the 14th of July and uh, we go further and further and you can see there's again there is some blues in the map and I apologize I'm yawning but whenever there is blues in the map and whenever there are or uh, any type of anomaly that is below average when it comes to these type of things, it's usually pretty alarming um, in terms of the temperature because usually they don't. These models are warm biased. These uh, long range outlooks, these uh, these weekly or monthly um, climate forecast systems are biased towards the warmth, and usually they're they're much rather show a 3.5 um, degree difference in Celsius above normal. They're below. Than below normal, and okay, and if they're showing this far out, a little sign of chilly air. Um, this could definitely mean uh, some chilly air is on its way uh, towards the end of July into August. Uh, we will just have to see about that though. And right now, you may be seeing asking, well, why is this showing so much here? Well, that's because it's close up. Um, it's only a week away. So when we get to week five and are showing uh, these chilly temperatures, then you know that something is up and if we go to the six to ten day outlook you can see it's nice and warm barely across any part of the country is it below average maybe a little bit in the mountains maybe across <laughs> texas across nevada across utah a little bit below average but that's you know not really high confidence mainly you can see very warm across much of the country Precipitation, kind of here and there, you could see a little bit above, then a little bit below. Nothing, not a pattern that's too um, awfully concerning. Maybe a, a little bit more rain across the south, um, in the south, you know, southern United States, which could uh, lead to a little bit more you know, flooding concerns. 8 to 14 day outlook, you could see this is from July 1st through the 7th, so this is not even the time frame of the chilly year that the weekly models are showing. But you could see um, it's showing, look, it's showing. The, war the warmth are uh, moderating, or the confidence in the warmth. I mean, a lot of the more country is uh, neutral, and some portions are blue. So we'll just have to see what occurs with that precipitation. More rainy, I apologize, more rainy across the 
across the east and that usually comes with uh, during the summer with more rain comes with chillier conditions so uh it, you know that's that's especially this widespread so I, i'm feeling that this may be a little bit more uh you know cool weather for this time frame but we'll see um at this point it's it's interesting uh it's a little bit showing some signs of interesting uh care uh, you know it's showing some interesting signs at the very least and I will continue to upla you, uh, update you guys on this cooler weather. If this does happen, uh, you know, just these long range outlooks. If you like these, leave a comment. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can. I already mentioned that because I'll be making more of these videos, especially in the next coming months up to, I would say, March. Hopefully my channel doesn't get demonetized again because that would really be, um, that would be quite a bit of a bummer. So uh, stay tuned. And we hope that this, you know, this really... Uh, this really helps you guys out. So if we go, I wanted to show you the pivotal weather. So uh, I want to go to pivotal weather fuck you, and see what shows up. So the, on pivotal weather, the reason I'm going on this right now, I should have had this pulled out. I'm sorry. But the reason I'm going on here is because they have a really wrong range model. The same thing, CFS, climate forecasting system. But it goes in increments of, I think, 12 hours. Yeah, you can see 12 hours, 36, 48. And fuck you. And... I wanted to uh, demonstrate to you guys uh, whether it's gonna be cold. I didn't look at this, but I want to show you the coldness, which is it's forecasting some of the weekly models. What, what basically what I was showing you with this model, I want to show you in a smaller scale. So let's go to two two meter temperature anomaly. Uh, so let's go right there and let's go. To, so this is what it's showing now. You can see it was, it was very chilly and it's still gonna be chilly for a little bit more. But then if we you know if we go further out, let's just go to three hour eight hour 336 i'm um, nothing remarkable a little bit warm across the north maybe a little bit chillier um you know n nothing too noteworthy let's go further into uh let's go to forecast loop so we have these little buttons we can move around and let's uh, go hour by hour so fuck you as we can see fuck um at the beginning it starts off by being uh, chilly across the west and it stays confined to the west as you can see and more warmth across the Across the east, okay, across the east, more warmth. And then uh, we could see a little, you know, nothing, it doesn't seem too drastic, any temperatures. It seemed like the warmest part will be across southern Canada, but across the U.S., rather chilly, not cold. But then if we go further and further out, you could see there are also, it's nothing remarkable. Maybe a little bit of those uh, colder temperatures starting to show up, but it's not really showing what, um, what, the, what the weekly model is showing. So I don't know why that one was, I don't know, we'll just have to figure this one out. But it's not showing the same, let's just go to 2 meter temperature. Well, that was a basically anomaly, so there's nothing nothing going to be extreme about this thing. I mean, it's going to show 80s, it's going to show around average basically for every location. But look, across southern Canada, it's going to be pretty warm. Uh, fairly, very warm actually. If we go further and further out, you can see, uh, you know, yeah, the 70s, 60s. Maybe a little bit below average, but nothing too remarkable. So, uh, yeah, never mind about that. So, <laughs> let's go to the GFS model right now. Let's quickly show you what the GFS is showing in terms of just two meter temperature anomaly. Okay, and let's go back to uh, I don't know if this is the same model I was looking at earlier. Yeah, it was. Okay, so right now again a little bit cooler off in the west and where it was basically all over the place. The cold weather. Holy West has been pretty chilly. Now it's getting warm. You can see some of these temperatures still remaining rather chilly across the northeast, but across the central part of the country. I think the models are a little bit underdoing this warm temperatures. Fuck. But it's going to be pretty warm. You can see pretty toasty. And that, you know, maybe just those little, uh, those little bubbles popping up. That's from the thunderstorms. And again, I already explained that wherever the thunderstorms are, they pull in air from the north. Uh, from the atmosphere or higher up in the atmosphere and they just pull down this cooler air and usher it in to the United States or into the surface I'm guys I'm losing my train of thought so it's uh, and it ushers it into the um, the ground and so I wanted to show you here okay so this is June 30th pretty warm but not you know not remarkable warmth either nothing uh, no records it seems at least around in the United States maybe up in southern Canada but then maybe possibly getting a little bit chillier we'll have to see at this point um, are showing, I don't know what I'm doing, this was supposed to be, the, I was looking at it probably a completely different model, maybe, I don't know, but there was this one model showing some, uh, remark, or not remarkable, some 
interesting anomaly. So, okay, so the video is going to end in a couple of seconds. Um, I don't want to, uh, you know, say I wish you guys, you know, the best, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm really losing my train of thought. See you guys.